How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install an 11 speed 40 tooth mountain bike cassette onto a road bike. So this setup should work with any Shimano 11 speed group set. So I've done this setup on my 27 inch Giant Defy. I'm sure it will work with any other road bike. The only thing that might differ is the chain length from bike to bike. So in this video I'll show you how to install the cassette, what you'll need and also how it rides, how it feels and why you may need this gear, gear ratio. So this bike come with Shimano Ultegra, it came with a long cage or medium cage derailleur. Um, it can be done with a short cage but the long cage is preferred because if you go the big big combination the short cage won't have enough uh, jockey wheel or cage length to clear the gears and you could snap your chain or your derailleur so medium cage is preferred. So the new, new Ultegra R8000 it does come with an extender already so this video is for the older models of Ultegra or 105 or Dura Ace it should work with those but the new Ultegra don't need the road link. Um, reason why you need this road link is to bring the derailleur down to have the B screw length to clear the 40, 40 cassette. So I'll show you what you need in this setup. So the first thing you need is a cassette. I've gone the bling, carbon fiber, uh, titanium, XTR. It's got a Bling, you don't need it. You can do the SLX or the Dior XT, whatever you want to get, whatever your price range is. But I've done this bling one because it's uh, got a bit of carbon on it and a bit of titanium. So the bike did come with this. It's the Ultegra 32 cassette. Just wasn't enough gears for me. Coming from a mountain bike background, um, I just thought these small gears were just ridiculous and this is considered as a climbing gear which is just crazy in my opinion. So next thing you'll need is a chain whip. This is a 11 speed specific chain whip, nothing special there. Next thing you need is a lock ring tool. This is a 12mm through axle version. Sorry about the plane. Um, yeah, 12 mil through axle version. Your bike may come with a skewer. The setup may differ, so you'll have to check there what you got. Next thing you need is a new chain. Definitely need this. Um, so your bike, whatever gears you got in there at the moment, it will the chain length will be set to what gears you have. So a new chain is definitely needed. I've gone the Durace because it's got the grass reviews out of them all and they say you get the best life out of this chain so I do recommend going bling here so this is optional but I've done a quick link just uh, handy out on the road next thing you need is a 10 speed to 11 speed spacer I bought this just in case but you most likely taken off a cassette already and they do come with spacers so I did use one off of this cassette Basically, the the space is needed because it says it here on the box. You can't install a road a mountain bike cassette and a road bike because they're spaced differently. But pretty well, all that you need to do is just put the spacer in there, and it will bring it forward. So, next thing you need is a chain breaker. So I did have to take a few lengths off of this chain to get it set. So. This one's just meant to go on a top cap. But, yep, chain breaker. Next thing you need is this sucker. This is what it make, makes it all work. This is the Linda Rats Road Link. It's basically this little device here. I'll show you how that works in a sec. But they say it will only work with uh, up to a 36 cassette, which is wrong because obviously I got a 40 cassette on here. So. That's what you need. I got this off of eBay. There's plenty of websites that sell it. You should be able to find it. 
So how did I set this up? Pretty well. Took the chain off first, used the quick link, took the chain off, and then took the back wheel way up, and then used, used the chain whip to, we got another plane coming in. <laughs> but chain whip around there and then use the lock ring tool. There's plenty of videos online how to take your cassette off and then undone the lock ring, slid the cassette off and then put the spacer on the hub. You have to do this first and then slid the 40 cassette onto the hub and then done the lock ring up tight. You don't need the chain whip, just use the tool and a wrench and then tighten her up and then pop the back wheel in next thing I had to do was unscrew the derailleur off the off the hanger and then screwed the road link onto the derailleur hanger and then screwed the derailleur onto the road link so after that I had to just get the chain length right so what I'd done was I put it in a big big combination and checked what chain length I'd need for that and then took out how many pins I needed so I got that set up first try. I was pretty lucky, but you may have some problems getting the chain length. It might be hit or miss. So the only adjustment I had to do was the barrel adjuster and the B screw. So the B screw basically pulled that down to give it clearance for the 40 cassette. And then the barrel adjuster basically just lines up the jockey wheel to the cassette. And that's really all I had to do. Didn't have to touch the high or low limit screw. So, yeah. So how does the 40 cassette ride and feel? It feels freaking awesome, man. Just having that easy gear to back up onto on those steep 10 to 20% climbs. It's just wicked. You see people zigzagging up these steep 20% climbs. And I'm just straight up smooth cadence. I'm probably putting out the same watts, but having a lot less fatigue and going quicker than the people that are grinding and destroying all their knees with these 28 and 32 cassettes, which are just useless. It's also really good for adventure riding things, you know, over 50, over 100 Ks. Once I've got 50 Ks in the leg, I find myself in the 40 cassette a lot of the time, just spinning out the legs, recovering up some of the climbs just it's all about like fatigue and just not fatiguing the legs with this 40 cassette it just makes life a lot easier the gearing won't make you faster up most hill climbs unless it's really steep but the most thing it's, it's going to do is take all the stress out your knees and stop the fatigue building up in your legs so it, it's a great setup if you live in the flats the 32 and uh, bigger chain rings might be okay for you, but I've gone the compact and the big set at the back. And for what I do, it's just, it's perfect. So chucking a video of how it shifts and uh, showing that it does work in the big, big and the small, small, just fine. Peace. So I'll just show you the setup here. So let's just go big chain ring. Just under that smooth. It starts to stretch out the derailleur. Go up the gear. And that's it. it. Shifts into that fine. It does go big, big. You can back pedal it as well. No problem. There's it's very stretched on the derailleur. It still has a little bit of little bit left but um wouldn't recommend it but it's just to show it does do big big it does work and uh it doesn't doesn't like it but i'll uh drop that That does work, little, little, will work, 
not much tension, but it does work. 